We interrupt our programming to bring you the following special report. The Ryan Report. Whatever opinion they had ain't gonna change nothing I'm doing. What was the story he told? Because I, I was there. It's time for the Ryan Report. It's like Jay-Z, all eyes on us. On the People Station, V103. It is your Ryan Report right here on the People Station, V103. It's been brought to you by... The one, the only, McDonald's. Start your day with two sausage, egg, and cheese McGriddles. Or try one breakfast sandwich and a medium drink for only $3 of your choice at participating McDonald's. I am loving it. Okay. You you barely take a drink. Maybe yeah. every now and then. Every now and then. But when you first started drinking, mm-hmm. you probably did it on your own and maybe didn't know your limit. And maybe got a little out of hand. Yeah, that has happened to me before. That is what they're saying is going on with Beyonce and Jay-Z. You know, Beyonce started out in the business. She was a teenager. Yeah. Then she started drinking wine. Remember she had that documentary mm-hmm. she was drinking wine? People were like, oh my God, she's mm-hmm. drinking wine. Mm-hmm. In this latest issue of National Enquirer, mm-hmm. they're saying that Beyonce and Jay-Z are headed for a billion dollar divorce because she drinks and then hits Jay-Z. That she gets a little liquid confidence and all the things that you can't talk about when she's just regular Beyonce. Mm. She gets a couple of glasses of wine in her. She then acts out and that it is going to be really, really ugly. Now, you know wow. the National Choir, they don't mess around too tough. Exactly. They're like, okay, go ahead and sue yeah, us then. Yeah, sue us. Uh, but they're saying they're staying together because of uh, Blue Ivy mm-hmm. and that Beyonce has been kind of dropping these little breadcrumbs. She put a picture of Elizabeth Taylor and Richard Burton. They were mm-hmm. in a fiery embrace. Mm-hmm. They're saying, mm-hmm. what's that mean? Then she put up another picture uh, with her looking empty-eyed and like they're saying that she's in a very, very bad place oh, wow. and that even though they renewed their vows in Paris, mm-hmm. that this it's thing is working. headed for the and- and remember when they posted that video and everybody was re, you know reposting the video went crazy. Yeah. Um, I kind of saw that in her eyes. We were like, "What's going on?" Mm-hmm. Beyonce it looked like she was either drunk or under some type of I don't know. Something's going Something's on. Something's going on. Yeah. yeah. Oh so, no. We will see what happens, but they're saying and that when Jay- she has a couple of drinks. Woo. That's probably what happened to Salon. Maybe Salon. See, Salon ain't the only one. Out. Yeah. And speaking of drinks, you know they like to drink on the housewives. Mm. Mm-hmm. As soon as somebody ding dong, mm-hmm. they got the wine, they open yep. the wine. Love to drink. Uh, Bravo, Andy Cohen has a great idea. This is an awful idea. Okay, what's that? It's idea? called Plead the Fifth. Uh-huh. It's a game that Andy plays. Mm-hmm. Nene and Kim will be on TV live, mm-hmm. coming clean about some very personal issues. Uh, this time, they'll ask each other questions instead of Andy asking them questions. And they can only plead the fifth mm-hmm. on one question. Okay. Three questions they get to ask. Mm hmm. So, you know, they had a very volatile relationship. They're not friends, not speaking, but Kim... But she, Kim isn't on the show. Why? She's coming back for this. Oh, They gosh. probably wrote that check. She was one of my favorite housewives. I'm going to be saying. honest. Like, she was People one of my like favorites. Kim. I really did yeah. like her a lot. Okay. Uh, so, we'll let you know when that's going to come well, on. All right. Uh, some real sad news report. Uh, you know, Candy and Todd uh, came to my bowling challenge, had a great time, but... What's wrong? Um, uh, Candy and Todd are mourning this morning because uh, Todd's mother, Sharon, passed away on Tuesday in New York. No! Mm-hmm. And she was on the show! Right. Oh, no! Uh, apparently, she suffered a stroke on Monday oh, and was Ryan. in a coma. Uh, and they're saying that Candy and Todd were able to be by her oh, side when God. she passed away on Instagram. Todd called his mom his partner and best <sighs> friend and said he is lost without her. So... Very sad story, um, and we wish them. You know, Can I tell you this? And this is this is the God heaven's truth. When I watched the last episode of The Housewives, and I saw where Todd, Mom, and Candy, Mom was having a was little argument. Yeah. Honestly, in my heart, I'm sitting on the sofa. I'm like, why are they making them battle one another? Like, I didn't like that. Right. And you don't know what where people are in their lives mm-hmm. with having a heart attack or a stroke, and that's a lot of stress on them. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, I'm, we wish I'm them so sorry about the that. The best, and it's very sad. You know, very sad. And and the last story. Oh my God! This is crazy right here. Now, mm-hmm. people believe sometimes that if something bad happens to you in your life, and mm-hmm. y'all can answer on on Twitter whether you believe it's true or not, mm-hmm. you kind of suppress it. You move it to the back, and then right. maybe later on in life you go out and get therapy, and it comes back. You go, oh, that's the reason why I'm right, doing this. Right. There's a woman by the name of Judy Huff or Hugh. Judy has filed a lawsuit against Bill Cosby saying that 
she and her friend were taken to the Playboy Mansion <sighs> when they were 15 and that he gave them something in their drink and committed a sexual assault. Guess what year Judy is saying this happened? I'm afraid to ask, Ryan. 1974. <laughs> 1974, when she was 15 years old. I don't get it. More and more things are coming out every day. This woman said, hey, you go say, well, why, why, why now? She said, three years ago, she started having therapy and realized. But, but, but this if, if was all of why. this, and I don't know, you know, people have been saying that there's a lot of things being said back in the day and it was covered up. Right. But we haven't heard from the people we know that it was very close to him, such as Raven Simone. Or Keisha Knight Pulliam. Well, all these people, but they're now, saying that they had great relationships but, with Bill Cosby. But the one thing that is 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 consistent with all these women, and even yes. uh, the one woman from America's Next Top Model, mm-hmm. she was on CNN earlier this week. Mm-hmm. She is calling him a monster. She did another interview last night. All those people are not African American. All these accusers exactly. Are, are, I think it was only are, one black person on there, right? I don't think there's any. When they showed the picture, just like, there was I one? saw one. Yes. All right. Well. This woman has his lawsuit, so oh there you God. go. It's all over the news today. Uh, he has resigned from Temple yeah. on their board of directors. Mm. And Spellman issued a statement saying, hey, well, all the money that they gave us, they gave it to us collectively. Right. And the building is named after her, meaning mm. Camille, not him. Mm-hmm. All right? That is your Ryan Report right here on the People Station. It's V103.